Haven't used it before, but now I'm trying. Rogaine, how to use it for black men. Follow me, and I'll show you how to use Rogaine for black men. You don't want your stuff to be ending up like Sherman Helmsley. You don't want a roof going, George Jefferson. No one can create a viral video. And anyone that says to you that can make a viral video is going to be lying. Like you cannot reverse engineer a viral video. 72 hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute. Less than 3% of videos upload to YouTube go over 1,000 views. Hi, my name is David Waugh, and I'm an entertainer living in Los Angeles. I've been given seven chances to create a viral video. This is my adventure, and I invite you to come along with me. Can I go viral? Can we turn the camera on to cry? Oh yeah, I wanted to like tear up. Okay, cool. There we go. That was awesome. She's so naughty. She's so naughty. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Come, come, come on up. Come on up. You know, that's that's crazy because I, I, I've i talked to a couple of my friends who are like in their 50s or in their 40s or 60s and, and just, they're still waiting for that break to happen. And... Um, you know, it could be a combination of things. I mean, people got to understand this industry, this business, it's like a lottery ticket, you know, and sometimes your numbers may hit and sometimes your numbers may not hit. At the end of the day, you just got to tell yourself that you tried. So were we at your place and I was like, I was like, yeah, she's like, so where is it? I'm like, <laughs> right. And it was my car. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I lived in my car for a minute. Yeah, I lived in my car for a minute. Yeah, I think for like a year. For like a year or so, yeah. It was crazy too, because I would what I would do is I would like switch up and I would go to like uh it's so crazy because I have like a gym membership, so I would take a shower at the gym, kick it, go and then sleep back in the car. But yeah, it was kinda crazy. It was one of those, yeah. Woo, it's that hard year in LA. Hard year in LA, yeah. I had this terrible car when I first started out. It was a nineteen was it was a 1974, it might have been a 1974, 1984, Cadillac Caprice. Rusty blue. I even got pictures I'll show you guys. It was the worst car. And I remember when like when I would drive, fire engines or stuff would like if they were if they would had an emergency, like they would just stop and just let me go. Cause my car was just like a bus. This shit was just like it was it was crazy. And I would use like these terrible green sheets. They were kind of like my little curtains to like, so I could take a nap or something like that. And and the seats weren't leather seats. They were like polyester seats or something. And it would be a hot day and I would smell like these terrible, whoever had the car before me, honestly, I would go and people would be like, what the, what the fuck is this? <laughs> people would be wondering like, what is that? And it was because whatever was in those those seats, like, Cause it was some old school, like old school couches, like your grandma had, like when you take the plastic off of them, like it was like that. It was like those terrible couches, and that's how the seats were. It was disaster, and people would be like, "Oh my gosh!" and it would be some, it would be some terrible thing. And then the thing is, in the hot summer day, like I would just pretend like I had AC and I didn't have no AC, so people would see me sweating. Talk about starving art, like starving artists. Like you had the ultimate of like. Do I get something to eat or do I put some gas in my car? It's kind of shaking off like going to the restroom. Just want a little shake right in there. Cause you want to get all that ten dollars worth. <laughs> you want to get all that ten dollars worth of gas. So you just gotta do a little bit of shake. Just so you can get everything all in there. There you go, right there. Just a little bit in that van. Pull it. As growing up I had this you know, I was dyslexic. Um bad acne, fat, just every negative that you could think of. And it's just like, at the end of the day, like those demons still haunt me to this day. It's just like, you know, who's that fat, pimple, chubby kid? You know, like, so those things, it's kind of like, who's that David Wall, you know? So at the end of the day, it's just, you gotta think to yourself, like, you know, who is David Wall and what is he going up against? And, you know, I think at the end of the day, for me, it's kind of like, even though I feel like I still haven't accomplished my dream, I still don't want to disappoint that kid who's watched TV and said, I want to be there right there having that acceptance speech. So 
that's the thing is I don't want to disappoint that kid who watched TV every day, every night, hoping one day to be there. So I'm doing it for him, the little David Wall who dreamed about it. So, yeah. Join me, David Wall, for the next episode of Can I Go Viral? Well, I will soon attempt to make a viral YouTube video.